Okay, let's continue with the waveguide band and photonic integrated circuit. So like as an example, you can see the, the waveguide band in this picture. And also we can see two modes. The mode shows at the input of the waveguide and the other mode shows the like the mode shape at the bend side. So as we can see that uh, in the bend part, part of the mode is shifted to the to the right side. And there is a mode mismatch between these two modes. So in this part, we are interested to calculate the mode mismatch and also loss due to the due to the bend. So actually uh, as I mentioned the, the the bend is a fundamental component for photonic integrated circuit. So they are variety application in the photonic integrated circuit like they can change the propagation direction also they can connect uh, connect a different uh, component of photonic integrated circuit together and also uh, they are used as an indiv individual component like uh, polarization converters or rotators so uh, modal analysis of waveguide band is essential for the PIC and PLC design and, uh, and understanding the operating principle of this component is very important. So actually through the modal analysis, we will extract the real part and imaginary part of the effective index. So real part is related to the phase variation and the imaginary part is related to the pure bending loss. Actually, the physics behind the bending waveguide. So we discussed about the straight waveguide. In the straight waveguide, we described uh, how, like, uh, we can derive the Maxwell equation and have have and uh, so how we can achieve to, like, uh, Helmholtz equation. And by the Helmholtz equation, so we saw that the electric field and the magnetic field. Uh, like uh, can be calculated by by like this form formula, which uh, uh, so like uh, in in this case for instance in in the so this is z direction and x direction that the light propagate through the z direction, for instance, for this reason beta is a propagation constant, and uh, which is depend which is part of the like I beta Z and um, so, but but in the band waveguide, uh, the eigenmode solver solved the uh, mode using a cylindrical coordinate system. Like in a straight waveguide, we have a Cartesian coordinate, but in band waveguide, we have a cylindrical co coordinate system. So, and for this reason, in, in band waveguide, we have angular propagation constant like this. Uh, K is uh, like um, wave number, effective index, and and uh, so uh, like th this is a band, this is a z direction, and this is x direction, rho and theta, and we can see how electric field depend on depends on these parameters. So let's uh, start with the numerical theme. In the numerical theme, actually, uh, we will work, uh, we will continue the, the waveguide that we designed before. And in this part, we will calculate the, um, actually, the last parameter, the imaginary part of the refractive effective index. And um, uh, we can also see the how the mode is shifted to the to the band side. So let's go to the uh, numerical theme. <clears throat> so this is a numerical theme. So uh, please look at, uh, uh, please review my, my first video regarding to the numerical theme that we designed a waveguide uh, just for a brief review. So this is our waveguide. Our waveguide is silicon, 
and this is our substrate. Uh, this our substrate is a SiO two. So this is our simulation region. For the simulation region, so the boundary condition of X and Y is closed to simulate just uh, the specific region and uh, and um, so that's it for the solver side for the theme uh, like we we chose the simulation region as a straight and we will keep the mesh setting by this parameter so we increase a little bit the order of polynomial to increase the accuracy of the simulation. And uh, so let's disable the bend because we want to just simulate the straight waveguide first. And we want to choose the wavelengths of 1.55. So let's apply and OK. And uh, so by this button, we can run the simulation. And um, so we are waiting to uh, for the simulation and uh, okay the simulation is finished let's look at the results so we can see the field new visualizer so this is our mode and also we can look at ex so this is our ex and uh, uh, so the in the like in the mode properties, if if I select the mode property and click, click select visualize, new visualize, and just uh, look at the, so I removed just, ah, I removed all of them, sorry. Just again. Uh, so I removed like, I just, I select effective index. So the effective index, if, if I look at the real part of the effective index, and in the in the x direction, I can select the x direction as uh, like wavelengths, but here the x direction is mode number. So for the first mode is 2.4, for second mode is two, the, the effective index is 1.6. It means that this is a leaky mode, okay? So let's focus to the first mode. So I select, I change this one to Lambda. And in the action part, I select plot X axis. And also about the, the unit, I select micrometer. So now we can see that in 1.55. So the fractive effective index is 2.3904. So, and also I can look at the imaginary part. So the imaginary part of the refractive effective index is, is zero. And also I can look at the loss. The, the loss also is zero. So now in the next step, uh, we can go back to the, from the layout to the simulation, uh, to the edit mode. I mean, this is the edit mode and we can, change the parameters.